Hey guys, uh, welcome to my channel Data Driven Decision. In this channel, I talk about the data science and machine learning kind of stuff. If you're done for that, please subscribe to my channel and see different kind of awesome videos I make for data science. So today's topic is nothing more than the polymorphism. It's the uh, last part of the our class uh, series of videos. So the polymorphism is nothing but two different classes have the same uh, method name of the method is same then you can use that particular method in some sequence or some other way around so i'm going to show you that uh, particular thing so you can see that over here there are two classes over here i've defined so one class is the house class over here okay okay, okay. just a minute uh okay so this is going to be the house class that is what i have defined over here and another one is the community house class there are two different classes i have defined over here so this particular house have the two one attribute that is the color attribute and this community house also have the attribute called the community house color attribute okay so these are the two different attributes it has but the method name is same for these two classes so house color is the same method and it is going to just print that particular save dot color over here and over here you can this that uh, the house color also same here the method is name is same but it is going to print out the community house color self dot community house color so that is what it is going to uh, represent okay so if i just clear it okay so you can see that i have just have two different classes the name of the classes is different the attribute name is different only same thing is that the method name color house color okay so if i define these two classes and you can see that i have given the black house as the house so i have defining this particular black house which belongs to this house class and this is the white house that also belongs to the community class that is not belongs to the house class so their color is totally different it's a black house and then it is a white house okay so if I define these two classes, these two sorry, these two houses which belong to these particular classes, and then what I can do, I can create a function. So the function name is give house color, and you just put the house name. Okay, then it is going to return the house name dot house color. So what I can do is that over here, so house name I can differ like it's a black house, it's a white house. So whenever I try to run this particular function, I just give the black house over here. So whenever I give the black house, it is going to run this particular thing. So it is going to run the self dot color. Okay. So house name dot house color. You can see that this particular method is going to execute house color. Okay. And that will return the self dot color. And if I use the white house, it is going to execute this house color method. So for what it will represent, it is going to return the community house color. So if I just define it and if I try to run this cell, the house color is white because I have used the white house. Okay, so it is going to execute this particular house color, community house color. It is going to provide it. So if I use this uh, as a black house, okay, if I just change it to black. Okay, black house, and if I run it, then it is going to give you the black house. So that's the called the polymorphism. Polymorphism means here two different or three different or many different classes have the same, they share the same method. The method name is same. Then using that particular uh, functionality, you can create uh, different different scenarios. Like over here, I have used as a function. You can also use as a for loop. Suppose for for loop, you are always calling that particular name, and it is going to represent something dot that method name. Then it is going to give you that uh, that output. So I hope you like this video. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel and see different kind of videos I make for data science. Uh, and if you haven't seen the other videos of this particular series, you can just check that out with the effort card. I'll just give that. Thank you for watching my video. Thanks.